string theory is a subject which is trying to understand uh, the nature of uh, what is the force of gravity which all of you feel when you fall down or throw a ball what is really the underlying nature of this force why is there such a force of gravity why is it prevalent all over the universe and how did it play a role in the beginning of the universe and in such extreme objects like black holes that are there in the universe but I should stress that in recent years, people have found many more solutions of string theory. And I think it's, we have only scratched the surface. And there are probably many other ways in which string theory can connect to the forces of uh, particle physics. The life of a theoretical physicist that I'm uh, leading right now is what I always dreamt of doing and it, uh, it is more or less what I imagined and uh, I, I was I think mostly sustained by the excitement of learning and thinking about so many new ideas and concepts. I think that excitement that uh, is what carries you through all the difficult periods that are there. If you have a thread of continuity taking you uh, so that you still are connected to that uh, boy or that child who you were in uh, class uh, 8 or 9. I, I think uh, you, you will not lose your way. So before 1925, it, it might have seemed that quantum mechanics is a very abstruse thing describing just properties of atoms, so who cares? But no, it, uh, it is the investment in that curiosity that has enabled you to do things and it continues to do, do things and this is not only something of the past, it continues and in many fields. Without knowing these uh, fundamental things of science, we wouldn't have had any of these advances that we, we take for granted or the ordinary citizen takes for granted. Uh, and which has changed their lives, which changed people's lives.